Good afternoon, uh, YouTube family. Salt Texas Pepper here. Uh, today is January the 15th, 2023. Uh, it's a beautiful Sunday morning, or Sunday afternoon, actually. It uh, looks like it's starting to get cloudy, but this pretty much this whole weekend was uh, sunny and no clouds uh, here in South Texas. Um, guys, what I really wanted to talk about today um, is, of course, the, the, the food prices. I know this is a dead horse that we just keep on beating, but... Um, as as this drags on with the prices going up and up, um, you come to the realization that although we, I've been keeping up with this and I knew that the prices were gonna, were gonna keep going up, uh, it's still amazing to see that how they're actually just going up. I mean, when it actually happens, it's one thing for you to anticipate or you know speculate that this or that is gonna happen, but when it actually happens or it starts to, to happen. Um, it's always pretty amazing and eye-opening. Um, I know a lot of uh, content creators, uh, like the one that comes to mind is Alaska Prepper. He's always said that we're not gonna have food shortages per se, right? Uh, there'll be there will be food available. It's just that um, people are gonna be priced out of it. Um, yesterday I went and got like a hundred dollars worth of like it was just little stuff right but um it wasn't even a cart full i mean i re i remember it seems to me like not that long ago that you when you filled up a basket if you got a hundred bucks worth of stuff your basket was gonna be like full like super full um you know you'll spend like 60 70 dollars on a small trip and you're not really getting anything. I mean, you're not really, maybe you get, you come out with like three or four bags worth of stuff. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, it, it's amazing to see guys. Um, yesterday I went and I, I was just out of habit. I checked the price of the eggs and it's been going up. It's been hovering around the $20 mark. Uh, the, the box of uh, five, five dozen, the 60, uh, the box of 60. And uh, they were at twenty two fifty at at our HEB. Um, my wife was telling me that at the Walmart, they're $25. Uh, I, I haven't been to Walmart in a, in a while. Haven't checked the prices there, but either way, both are high, very high. Um, now I did buy, uh, I was going to barbecue and I bought some, 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 uh, some chicken thighs and chicken, uh, drumsticks and the, the thighs, the, the, I guess it's like a, that foam tray that it comes on and there's maybe like 10, 10 pieces or so. Those are like at five, between five and $6. Like now nah, I didn't see any at six or maybe a couple, but those were the, that was closer to the way the prices used to be. And I believe it was like 99 cents a pound. So that was very cheap. Not too long ago. Um, you know, of course with the, with the bird cullings and the killing all these chickens and, all, the, all these things, uh, the price had gone up to like almost $8 for those same packages. So uh, I'm not sure if maybe we're seeing some demand destruction or uh, maybe here in Texas. I don't know where they get the birds from, uh, the, the the chickens. Excuse me. Sorry. Um, I'm not sure if it's a kind of like a demand destruction that everybody's they, they just stop buying and so now they're starting to buy because I mean uh, the, the prices are down because nobody's buying the inventory um, that's possible um, I these these things that are happening right now are, are new to me uh, and I'm sure they're kind of new to everybody uh, especially the the concept of demand destruction that being where uh, products get so high that people just stop buying them because they're too expensive so eventually the prices, they have to bring down the prices in order for them to sell. Um, not too sure if that's something that happens a lot with food, just because people eat, uh, out, you know, you just fit it into your budget. Um, my brother-in-law and I, who's my neighbor, we were, we were talking last night and uh, we were talking about how, you know, no matter how high things get, uh, you just start, I mean, you find a way to, to fit it in your budget or you you know what I'm saying? You just, I mean, I guess you just 
um, you just kind of adjust to the situation. But uh, I'm not sure how long this is gonna last. Some people are saying uh, I've heard that this is this this inflation, um, this uh, environment of, of of high prices and rate rising prices is gonna be with us at least ten years, guys. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm I'm not sure how if that's if it's gonna be that long, if it's gonna be less, or if it's just gonna be a slow creep. Um, if we're gonna have ups and then we're gonna have downs, I'm not, I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Um, but my opinion, my educated guess is that they're gonna keep going up. Um, now my my thing, my caveat to all of these guys, and and you you let me know, uh, is that the financial system, right? The people that run this system, the 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 powers that be, um they created this system and so they created it to uh, in order it was it, it in my opinion right it, it was a new form of slavery uh without being overtly you know like a plantation and having slaves and and you know like that um they couldn't do that anymore so uh at least system wide right <clears throat> and so they came up with new concepts and new uh new um, how can I say what's the word I'm looking for? They came up with new systems of being able to extract our wealth um, using uh, uh, being parasites, right? Stealing our energy and our labor uh, with with money. They came up with new ways of doing it, and 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 still even now, like especially after the 2008 crisis, um, financial crisis, they've just come up with new ways of of uh, taxing us and fees and and just different instruments financial instruments and uh for all intents and purposes guys they should have this system should have collapsed the banking system but they created it and so they can keep it going um so when i see about how the debt's unsustainable and the treasury bonds they've created all this money and the derivatives you know this is just my opinion um my opinion if if they create that out of nothing and um and that's how they they basically create the money and they buy assets with it guys they buy land they i mean they they're basically counterfeiting that being said i think they can keep it going till forever honestly um again they created all of this and so they can bring it to an end when they want it, it will come to an end uh i'm thinking but only when they feel that you know they've they've done everything they can to take everything take everything from us and so i don't i don't believe that you you can't get you cannot guess the crash right the economic crash or the when everything finally just tips over into the abyss it, you won't be able to call it uh they'll they'll do it when they're ready uh when they feel that it's time and i i believe that this this collapse it might we might not even know what happened they're just going to change over into the either the cbdc um or into some kind of new uh, system some payment system some kind of new um digital money or whatever you want to call it they're just gonna you know just transition straight across and we might not even know that it happened um because after all they're just digits on the screen guys the real thing the real the real money which whatever you want to call it is it's in your hands it's all around us the the physical things of this world the the precious metals the food the the guns the ammo the the whatever the vehicles your houses uh the materials for your homes for the cars for the upkeep all these things, those are the real assets, guys. Uh, the real things of this tangible uh, things that you can touch and you feel. You know what I'm saying? And see. Um, but anyway, I know I got off on a tangent there. But yeah. Um, by the way, before I forget, I spoke to uh, Oregon uh, Preparedness, uh, Oleg. Uh, what's up, brother? Uh, it was good talking to, talking to you, bro. Um, talked to Oleg of Oregon Preparedness. Had a real good conversation. Uh, had to cut the 
was a little bit short because I had family, I had my grandkids, and my kids were all here, and uh, you know we had a barbecue, and it was great. But it was good talking to to Oregon. It was I think it was really appropriate that he's he called me when uh all my family, all my kids were running around, and I mean my, rather my grandkids uh, were all around me, and you know it was just good. It was a good feeling, uh, good good vibes and stuff. So anyway, guys, y'all check out his channel, Oregon Preparedness. Uh, he's a trucker. Um, travels all over the United States and he always has really nice videos. So yeah, guys, uh, th this, this environment of, of high prices and, uh, and, and you know what, like I told y'all before, uh, where I work at, um, we have, you know, and this is industry wide, um, you know, apartments, um, a lot of people aren't moving into apartments, uh, as far as, um, Apartments at a certain price level, right? Um, it's just very expensive, uh, and it's going to keep going higher. Now, that being said, here in, in, in Texas and San Antonio in particular, uh, rents are not as high as other parts of the country, but they're still high. 